good morning dear students as you know we were discussing about the chemical properties of metals in this we have already discussed the reaction of metals and non metals with oxygen water and acid today we are going to study the next chemical property that is reaction of metals with alkalis what are alkalis alkalis are the bases which are soluble in water so here i have taken piece of aluminum and placed it in sodium hydroxide solution then what we are going to observe after few second we will find that it will produce sodium aluminate and hydrogen gas will be released in the test tube you will find the colorless gas a colorless gas is evolving so we will close the mouth of the test tube and then we will test it with a burning matchstick or wood splitter then what we will find that it this catches fire with a pop sock that is an indication that hydrogen gas is produced so instead of this aluminum if i if i take another metal which is more reactive than hydrogen then the reaction will be same so here i have taken zinc and added it in a test tube containing sodium hydroxide solution then i will obtain sodium zincate and hydrogen gas again for confirming that hydrogen gas is produced i am going for this matchstick test or uh, burning food splinter i will take near the mouth of the test tube it will give a pop sound means the hydrogen gas will burn with a pop sound instead of aluminum zinc we can take lead also or tin also we will observe that in these cases also hydrogen gas will be released so we can conclude that when the metals react with alkalis then they produce the respective salt and hydrogen gas is released children here one thing you have to keep in mind that only those metals which are more reactive than hydrogen only will show this type of reaction clear now what happens when non metal sir placed in alkalis that we are going to see we have seen what happens to metals when they are mixed with alkalis now we are going to discuss about non metals what happens when non metals are uh, placed in a test tube containing these type of alkalis so children non metals also react with alkalis but the reactions are little bit complex so will not be dealing this in this topic okay so what we have understood metals which are placed above hydrogen in the reactivity series they react with alkalis and they produce the respective salt and hydrogen gas whereas some of the non metals also react with alkali but the reactions are slightly complex so we are not writing or discussing here the next topic is displacement reaction what do we mean by displacement reactions when a more reactive element and in this case it is metal displaces a less reactive element from its aqueous salt solution the reaction which takes place is called displacement reaction okay so what does this mean when a more reactive element which are more reactive in this 
reactivity series we have already discussed. The one which is placed above the other that will be definitely more reactive than the one which is below. Like if I compare calcium and magnesium then calcium will be more reactive than magnesium. If I compare magnesium with aluminium then magnesium will be more reactive than aluminium. So in displacement reaction what happens? When a more reactive element displaces a less reactive element from its aqueous salt solution, the reaction which takes place is called displacement reaction. Clear? So how this displacement reaction takes place that we have to understand. So students as I have told you already that the more reactive metal will displace the less reactive metal. So here I have taken pieces of iron and I have placed this uh, all pins or pins in copper sulfate solution that is aqueous copper sulfate solution. Then what I am going to observe is it will produce ferrous sulfate or iron sulfate and copper will remain free or copper will become free. So now if you compare this iron with copper, what was the definition of displacement? The more reactive element displaces the less reactive element from its salt solution. So you can clearly find out in this reactivity series that iron is placed above copper. That means iron is more reactive. That is why it is displacing copper from copper sulfate solution and it is producing ferrous sulfate solution plus copper. Instead of iron, if I will take zinc, I will take pieces of zinc and put it in a test tube or beaker containing copper sulfate solution. After some time, I am going to observe that the color of the solution changes. What is the color of this copper sulfate solution? Do you remember? It is blue in color. Okay. So, blue will change or this blue color will become colorless. Why it has become colorless? The reason is it has produced zinc sulfate. That is ZnSO4. What is produced? ZnSO4 and plus copper. Plus copper. So here zinc has displaced copper from copper sulfate solution. Why zinc has displaced copper? The reason is again same. Zinc is more reactive than copper. So zinc has displaced copper from copper sulfate solution and it has produced a new product that is zinc sulfate and copper. For the displacement reaction we have taken three different metals. This is copper. Okay, we have taken the copper scrapings. Then the second one is zinc and the third one is this. These are the paper clips of iron. And I am taking the two salt solutions that is ferrous sulphate solution and the copper sulphate solution. Now you can clearly see the colors of these solutions. Copper sulphate it is blue in color and ferrous sulphate it is slightly greenish in color. Okay. So what I am going to do I will take the test tubes and in this test tube I will take pieces of this piece of all pin and in second one I will take the piece of zinc and in third case I am going to take the piece of copper. Now I am going to add the copper sulphate solution in these test tubes. Three test tubes I am going to add the copper sulphate solution.
Now you can clearly see I have taken the iron clips and I have placed it in a copper sulphate solution. Second test tube I have taken the zinc piece and I have placed it in a copper sulphate solution. Okay. Third case I have taken the copper pieces or copper turnings and added it in the copper sulphate solution. After few minutes what we are going to observe that we are going to record. Now let us see what happened to the test tubes. Now children you can clearly see that the iron pins they have changed their color. They got the brownish coating and slowly you will observe that there is a difference in the color of this solution in the test tube and the original color. Slowly it will turn bluish green. That means it will get converted into ferrous sulphate and copper will be released free. And as we know that in second case we have taken the zinc pieces and we have added the zinc pieces in copper sulphate solution. Now you will find that the copper is getting separated and slowly this blue color solution will become colorless. Why it will become colorless? Because it is getting converted into zinc sulphate solution. And in third case, I have taken copper scrapings and the salt solution is also of copper. So same metal, so there will be no displacement reaction. In first two cases, you can see the change and in the others you will find there will be a difference. In this case, I have taken copper scrapings and added it in ferrous sulphate solution. So, as you all know that copper is less reactive than iron, so there will be no displacement reaction. You are not observing any change in the color. What does this mean children? This means that if the metal is more reactive, then the metal present in the aqueous salt solution then there will be a displacement reaction but if the metal is less reactive then we do not see any displacement reaction or we do not observe any change in the product or any change in the color of the solution or any other change is not visible to us. For better understanding of the experiment we performed, I have attached these images. If you have any doubt regarding this topic, you can ask me in the next online class. Thank you.